what's up everybody welcome back to my channel so i'll be showing you how i got these real cute long nails on myself and i'll be showing y'all how i did my opposite hand as well so we're gonna get right into the video so first i'm just going in with my cuticle pusher and i'm gonna push back all of my cuticles i'm gonna show y'all the full process everything i do on myself Then I'm just going in with my regular file and I'm going to buff the shine and all the oils off of my natural nail beds. And because I'm right-handed, it's super hard to do my right hand itself. So I try, basically what I do is like I move my hand more than I'm moving the file from my other hand, if that makes sense. Which I still try to move the file just to start to get used to using my left hand. But it's just, this is just easier for me. Then I'm going to go in with my cuticle drill bit because I really haven't had nails on in like a month. So my cuticles really have grown a lot. So I'm just going in to take that off. And I did actually go in with the nippers to nip some off. You're not really, you're not supposed to do that on clients, but you know, this is myself. So I really don't mind. That's what I wanted to do. But yeah, I'm just going to go through and do that on all of my fingers. Then I'm going to dust all of the particles off and I'm going to go in with this alcohol wipe because I think I'm starting to like these better instead of spraying them because this allows me to get 
all of that dust that's sitting and hiding in the creases of the sidewalls, if that makes sense. Whereas like spraying the alcohol and then wiping it with a napkin, you can't get it as well. So this just works for me better. And then we're going to go ahead and size the tips. And I did do double tips for this set. So basically I'm just getting whatever size and then I'm setting two tips aside for each finger. And we basically already dehydrated with the alcohol wipe. So I'm just going in and gluing all of the tips on and I'm doing double tips at the same time, if that makes sense. So I'm doing one nail at a time instead of doing all nails and then double tips on nails. So yeah. Y'all, I miss having my nails. I'm over here going crazy. You're going to see me doing this a lot throughout the video, okay? <laughs> but I did go ahead and cut them down real quick. Not to the length I wanted, like just real quick. Something a little bit longer than what I wanted so that I'm able to work with my fingers to glue my tips on on my other hand. Because having them long tips and how they was all curved, I would not be able to work with them that long. The pointer finger really wasn't trying to stick on right, so I had to let it dry before I added the double tip on. So I went ahead with the other fingers and then I'll add the double tip on to that one when I'm done.
Now I'm just going through and cutting them to the length I want and then I'll measure with the other hand and cut the other hand as well. Then we're gonna go in with the file and clean the shaping up. So I'm just going, and I did take the scissors to cut the extra pieces of the double tip that was hanging off of the sides. And then I'm doing tapered squares. So I'm basically just cleaning the shape up. And then once you get the shape, I'm going in to blend the tip into the natural nail. And I'm basically just doing this all on the fingers.
The scissors really wasn't working in my left hand, so I had to go in with my tweezers, my nippers, not my tweezers, my nippers to cut that extra piece of the double, t the double tip off. And then I'm just going in filing, whatever. And you are going to see me use the e-file when it comes to my right hand because, you know, I really can't move my left hand that much with the file. So the e-file just makes it easier to get whatever I need to get done.
once the shape is all done i'm going through and dusting all of the particles or whatever off and then we're going to get into the acrylic application so i'm just going in with another alcohol wipe and i'm going to use it as my dehydrator because like i mentioned it just really gets all of those particles out of the sidewalls and the cuticles so that helps and then these are all the acrylics i'm using so i'm using crystal clear from valentino mystic blue from nail house kari from acrylics 117 from valentino and carolina or caroline from acrylics so if you watch my videos you guys know i'm always using valentino's dehydrator and primer but this time i thought i'll go ahead and try young nails primer so that's what i'm doing here and i do see people put, apply it twice so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it twice And I'm just going to go in for my acrylic application for everything. And y'all, my brush is really running out. So, like, it's really starting to get messed up. I know I need a new brush. That's why I'm taking such small beads because my brush really isn't working with me no more. But, yes, I did mention all of the acrylic powders that I'm using. So, you can kind of get the jib for what acrylic powder I'm using when, you know. But yeah, if you didn't know, this is Mystic Blue from Nail House. I love their powders, super buttery. They're so amazing. This is their blue glitter, which I didn't get my hands on the first time I ordered from her. But the second time she dropped, I was like, nope, I'm getting this. And I love it. So yeah, just regular application with that. And then for the middle finger, I'm going to go in with my Crystal Clear from Valentino. Regular application with that because that's where my diamonds are going to go. Then I'm taking my two blues and just doing a marble and basically you want to dip them in both at the same time like I just did and just swirl them all around. Y'all, I'm sorry. 
I'm all out of the camera. This is going to happen a lot because, especially towards the end, because I was just getting fed up with trying to stay in the damn camera. Like, I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> but that, and I didn't zoom in like how I usually do with my videos because I'm really all over the place. Like, I'm moving my hands all over. So I have to keep cutting and like zooming in different places for y'all to really see. So I just kept it zoomed out so you could see the full picture. But yeah, go ahead, do this marble, and then I added a little bit of the Mystic Blue to the top of it. And you do have to encapsulate this, so I'm going to let it dry while I do my other fingers and then come back to it. For this finger, I'm just doing a basic ombre, which you'll see how I do, you know, fade it up and then bring it down overwards. I explained ombre in a couple different videos, so. So for the thumb, I'm doing a marble ombre. So basically, I'm just doing the same thing as the marble, but you also want to try to fade it up so that you can create that ombre look. And then these two, um, the thumb and the other ombre also have to be encapsulated, which I'll come back to. Y'all want to make sure that you're always keeping your cup filled with monomer to the top because if you don't, that could cause bubbles in your application as well. So just want to make sure you're doing that. And I try not to cut out those type of parts just so that you can see how I do that, you know, in just the real process, you know. Then I'm just taking my crystal clear again from Valentino and I'm going to encapsulate those two. So the nude that I use, Kari from Acrylics, is good on its own. Like it created a little bit of an apex when I was doing the ombre, but the blue from Valentino has to be encapsulated because it's just too thin of a pigment to be on its own. So yes, I'm just going in to clean that up and make that a little thicker, create the nail. And then the marble obviously has to be encapsulated because how you going to do a marble and get an apex with the marble? Like it's going to be all lumpy. It's not going to be right. So yeah, encapsulate that and the thumb.
And then I'm basically just doing the same thing all over on the other hand, but different fingers. I did go ahead and switch it up, which I'll see.
once the acrylic application is done i'm just going in and filing with my hand file and i am going to do a lot of work with my e-file especially on my hand my right hand so like i mentioned earlier it's just easier that way but i'm not going to explain too much about the shaping because i do have a shaping video in the description box below if y'all want to check that out but i'm gonna just show y'all how i do it on myself you know let y'all see my process so i'm gonna just let y'all watch
so once all of the shaping is done this is how they came out they looking good already i mean they not all the way equal but i was giving up i'm tired you know but yeah i went ahead washed my hands and then i'm wiping with the alcohol wipe just to get those extra particles in the side walls and then i'm gonna go in with my base coat from opi and we'll get into the diamond top coat all of that So I started using this Zule's Bling Adhesive, which a lot of people recommended it to me on Instagram when I asked like the little poll question or whatever. And it's good, like it really stick on there. Like there's pros and cons to it. So if you watch me, you know that I'm always using my gummy jelly from e Nail Couture. And pros and cons with the gummy jelly pro is that you're able to move all the diamonds around and like once you put it in a cure then it's sticking you know it's there but before that you can move all the diamonds around you have time to get the right placement but the con is it comes out like super lumpy on the spots that you didn't put diamonds so like if i did a row of diamonds at the cuticle area it'll be super lumpy right there and then the rest down like you can just tell and it's too messy so i wanted to try something else and that's why i'm trying this pros and cons with this pros is it's strong you know but like and it doesn't i'm trying to get to what i'm saying it doesn't do the lumpiness for sure because you can place your top coat around the diamonds and it doesn't do any of that whereas the gummy jelly you place the top coat on top of the jelly so but yeah the cons is is literally like glue so it dries up super fast and you have to do it like a diamond at a time whereas the gummy jelly is all on there at once so you can put all the diamonds on at once but here you have to go back and forth with the zoulets and some of it got like a real white crusty look when it dried so i don't know if that was like the way i placed them if it was the gel or whatever but we'll see as i use the gel more but yeah that's a mini review video for y'all okay <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and place all my diamonds with this and i'm basically doing the same diamond placement on the other hand because i didn't show the other hand for this and then once that's done we'll go in with the top coat which i'll show you
So I did go ahead and wipe down the crystals with the alcohol pad because I did mention that I had like a little bit of that crusty white on it. So I tried to wipe it off as much as I could, but it didn't come off too much. I don't it does it's not too noticeable, but you know, like I'm a perfectionist, so but then I'm going in with my shiny e top coat from E Nail Couture and yeah like it, i like the zoolays overall like it's pretty good because it really gives that clean look with diamond work you know it's not too lumpy but yeah i'm just placing my top coat and then we're gonna cure it for 60 seconds We're all cured and y'all know I gotta add my cuticle oil so that's what I'm doing here. And y'all, this is the finished look. Like, these look so bomb. These are probably, like, the best set I've ever done on myself, hands down. Like, these look amazing. Do y'all see these? Like, I love these. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed at this point. Like, they just so cute. You see me over here like, yes, girl, this my mood. Yes, okay. I'm over here doing it with my hands right now while I'm recording this. <laughs> But yes, thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video.